Hi, welcome to Stock Acts. I'm your host, John McPhee. I'm a cyber professional and stock market enthusiast. However, I'm not a licensed financial professional, and I encourage everyone watching this video to please speak to one before making any investment decisions. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. That being said, I hope that you can find some gainful information from this video, and if you do, please like and subscribe. Now, let's jump right in. Today, I wanna to talk about one of the most interesting trends on the market today. I want to talk about SPACs. What is a SPAC? A SPAC is an acronym for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. A SPAC does not engage in major operations like a typical business would. In fact, the whole purpose of a SPAC is to raise money for an acquisition of a traditional company that we're all familiar with. SPACs are often led by financial industry experts or investors with the purpose of pursuing an IPO. Once the SPAC has obtained an IPO, it is allowed to offer shares and warrants on the stock market. The SPAC then looks for a traditional company to merge with. When a SPAC has its IPO, the money raised by the IPO is put into a trust. Now, what does that mean for investors? If a SPAC is unable to find a business to merge with, that money is then given back to the investors. Typically, a SPAC has around two years to try to find a company to merge with. Once a SPAC is able to find a company to merge with, an agreement is made and the merger date is set. Once a merger takes place, the company in which the SPAC has merged with is now able to sell shares on the stock exchange. Now you might be wondering, why would a company want to take this route as opposed to a traditional IPO process? Well, a company can have many reasons, but one of the main reasons is that it can take sometimes years for an IPO process to complete. And since a SPAC has already done this process and its shares are on the stock exchange, this could accelerate a company's ability to become publicly traded. Now that we know a little bit about what a SPAC is, I want to talk about some previous SPACs and SPAC mergers that have happened already. So let's jump into some stocks. In 2020, some notable SPAC mergers were QuantumScape. QuantumScape merged with Kensington Capital Acquisition Corp on November 27, 2020. Now let's look at QuantumScape's stock. QuantumScape, which is stock ticker QS, as we can see here in their yearly growth trend, we can see here, this is when the SPAC had initially had its offering. We can see that this started at $9.80. Typically a SPAC will start somewhere around $10. Now, you can see that once a SPAC has a speculative merger announced, that SPAC will begin to rise in popularity. We can see some growth here up to $22. And then that number slowly starts to come down. But as news is made about the merger and a merger date is set, people will start jumping in into this SPAC. Now that we've talked about some SPACs that have merged, I want to bring up a SPAC that is in talks with a merger. This SPAC is Churchill Capital Corp. is a special purpose acquisition company who's raised $690 million in its IPO in 2019. Now, this company has since raised $15 billion and it's looking to potentially acquire Lucid Motors. Lucid Motors is a US-based electric vehicle company which has built a manufacturing plant that can produce vehicles. Now, I think that Lucid Motors has really good potential because it does have a vehicle that it has created as a prototype and it looks like it's very promising. Now, this talks of merger is not absolute, which means that there's no official merger date set. So that means that this is very speculative still. However, this might be promising. Again, please look deep into it before deciding to invest. However, if this merger does go through, then I feel that this SPAC might be worth investing in. Only time will tell. Now that I've given you some insight, I encourage you to go look up Lucid Motors and do some of your own research. In the future, I may do a company breakdown of Lucid Motors, the company behind the stock, 
But until then, please do your own research. I also encourage you to look up Churchill Capital too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.